my presentation on the Mimidae family because my favorite critter is probably the gray cat bird, pictured here, which belongs to the family. They are a New World family, only found in the Americas. It's a fairly small family with only 34 to 36 species, depending on the source. They are between 22 and 19 million years old. The four general groups are the Mockingbirds, Thrashers, Tremblers, and New World Catbirds. Mimidae is part of the superfamily Muscicopoidae, which also includes starlings, oxpeckers, Old World flycatchers, dippers, and thrushes. Starlings are their closest relatives and both stem from the oxpeckers. The split from the oxpeckers likely occurred when Africa and South America drifted apart, and the split from starlings was about 22 to 19 million years ago. Some of the Mimidae ancestors moved up to North America 3 to 5 million years ago, likely before the Panama Isthmus formed. Tremblers are the most basal, most closely related to starlings, followed by the two catbirds and some of the thrashers. Then there are the mockingbirds and the toxostoma thrashers. They are all medium-sized birds with mostly drab, earthy colors and simple patterns on their chests and bellies. Their tails and beaks are fairly long with their beaks often curving down. They are usually on or near the ground, where they forage for insects, fruit, and seeds, using their beaks to move leaf litter around. Species that we can see most often around here are the northern mockingbird, the brown thrasher, and gray catbird. Tremblers are only found in South America, so we can't see them here. An interesting behavior commonly seen in northern mockingbirds is wing flashing. This is believed to be a show of aggression and distrust of a situation, like when they are vulnerable on the ground or predators nearby. The most obvious barriers Mimidae members encounter are the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Then there is latitude due to the limits it puts on their food sources. The Andes Mountains likely was the catalyst for a species split among the mockingbirds, and historically the sea between North and South America and possibly the Amazon River also acted as barriers. Ecology-wise, they are one of many species that help control insect populations. They also help spread seeds. Great catbirds have been found to be the second greatest frugivore in North America, robins being the first. They also serve as food for various predators. And finally, as their name suggests, some mimidae are excellent mimics. They do this to help keep away other species of birds and attract mates. Some members that are technically mimics actually remix the sounds they hear. Catbirds and some thrashers do this.